All right, we're at Lafayette Christian Academy with Fitzgerald West. First of all, what a great name, right? Fitzgerald <laughs> West. And uh, you're going to play uh, center for the LSU Tigers. Yes, sir, I am. Yes, sir, center. What was today like for you? You're in front of uh, your peers, your classmates, your fellow athletes, parents, coaches. It was a blessing knowing that uh, all my hard work is getting put on to the light, finally. Yes, sir. How long... How much work are we talking about here? Uh, I'm talking about work since, what, 7th or 8th grade, yes, sir. So it's been a uh, chaotic year at LSU in terms of uh, head coaching change and some assistant coaches coming and going. Just you observing it all, you, you felt good about the situation. What, what kept you an LSU Tiger? Um, I would say what kept me at LSU Tiger is praying, most definitely. And uh, it, was, it was a lot to look at, you know, hearing different things from other people, you know, from the media. Some of them false, some of them true. It's just, you know, I had to keep praying. Yes, One coach who is being retained from the former staff is the offensive line coach, Brad Davis. It seems like he got really good reviews and positive feedback from everyone. Yes, sir. Um, well, I love, I love my connection with Coach Davis. You know, he always kept it real. Like he's just a 100% person. Like he's not going to tell you any, any false, false stuff. He's just going to tell you the truth. Is he the one that you interact with the most on this during this process? Um, I, I I interacted with him, Kevin Falk, and uh, Coach O. But now it's Coach Kelly. I talk to Coach Kelly a lot too. Yes, sir. What are your impressions of Coach Kelly? Uh, I love him. He's a down to earth person. Um, he's he's a no curveball person. That's what I love the most. Uh, he's fun to be around. <laughs> I keep hearing that. I've talked to several people. Fun to be around. Maybe funnier than some people <laughs> thought he would be, right? Right. right. I thought he, he would be a, a mean person, well, like a strict person. Yeah. And I, I just don't see that. I don't see that in him right now, yeah. you know. One of those uptight Yankees, right? right? That's right. what we were that's, that's what I was thinking. Yes, yeah. sir. But it's, it's not. The total opposite. And then there's the balance, too. I hear he can be like that, but when it, you know, snap the finger, okay, now we're talking business. This, this is the way it's going to be. That's how it's supposed to be. When it's business, it's business. When it's playtime, it's playtime. Yeah. Yes, Talk to me about this recruiting class you're a part of. I mean, there are some big-time offensive linemen in this class along with you. We got Will Campbell, uh, Bo Bordelon as well. And Emory Jones, yes, sir. Yeah, Emory, of um, course. I just... uh, yes, sir. Well, I just feel that we have a connection to where we want to go out to LSU and we want to play early. Like, we want to win. We're, we're tired of seeing the, the Tigers lose, so we're going to come around and change that, all of us, even even the other positions, too. Offensive lineman, that's a position where, you know, a lot of times you got to gain weight, get stronger, whatnot, but LSU is losing a lot of offensive linemen. You guys feel like you can make an immediate impact there? I, I feel like we could. Um, we're going to come in and we're going to work. Like. We're, we're going to probably work as hard as anybody else out there. So if they can just give us a shot, we'll, we'll definitely produce. Uh, Trev Falk, I've been knowing Trev for uh, over 20 years probably, back to when he played at uh, Lafayette High School here. He's a lion. Uh, and then uh, with, the, with the LSU Tigers as well. What, what impact has he had on you here? Uh, he's had a tremendous impact. Like my A grade, that's probably the most, the most reason I came to LCA, you know, because I knew what, what good of a coach he was. I knew he was going to get me prepared. So I came in, he kind of took me on his wing, you know, taught me everything I, I pretty much know. He taught me, first of all, he taught me how to be a man. That's, that's the most important thing. He taught me, you know, just, just not the football part, most of it, most of it, the life part, you know, and I love that about him. Yeah. And I guess you have to carry that with you, right? Because once you step on the field over there, all the uh, patting you on the back and everything is over. No, you have to be a man. Yeah. Yes, Fitzgerald, great talking to you. Yes, sir, you too. All right, appreciate it. Fitzgerald West here at Lafayette Christian. Uh, go Tigers. Go Tigers. There you heard it.